I know you're watching me. I am surprised you are here. Oh, and why would I not be? Olympus is my home, is it not? Please, I am far more observant than my spark-headed brother. I see how you toil with the muck of humanity. I do not toil, Lord Poseidon. I am only intrigued. And besides, don't you think that Lord Zeus is acting a tad harsh toward them? Hey, it's their fault. Don't mess with the fire you can't extinguish. They opened Pandora's box. They must pay the divine price, which is why, if Zeus catches you getting all chummy with them, he will serve you punishment. He worries that you may develop a bond and get attached. Perhaps even find unhealthy romance. Tread very lightly, Poseidon. I will not fall prey to any mortal. Never make such an assumption again, please. It may be your downfall. Fine, still. I see you are quite fond of them, no? I suppose. They're very interesting to say the least. You're right on that account. Now what do you want here? You never pay me a visit without a reason. I have news. Hermes was supposed to give it. But he is deathly busy at the moment. Anyway, we caught word that an old adversary of ours is back. Who would that be? Medusa. Well, this is quite a revelation. We don't know what her motives are. She may be harmless, but when has that ever been the case? Are you frightened? No. Why would I be? Everybody knows what you did to Medusa. How you took her will away forcefully. Be very careful, Aphrodite. You don't know what happened. No, I do not. But Athena does. Regardless, Medusa will be out for your blood. Or, you know, whatever you have going on right now. First of all, this form is by my choice. I have felt drawn to it ever since coming to this island. And second, Medusa doesn't have the power to lay a single scaly finger on me. All right, Lord Poseidon. Still, I am conflicted. These mortals have opened the box. Last time, it was us who delivered it to Pandora, but this time, it was not. Prometheus. It had to have been him. This must be his revenge for his punishment. That is history now. True. We have more pressing matters to tend to. Yes, the prisoner. Precisely. The word of Athena's past with him is starting to get out as well. Don't even mention her. But to be honest, I don't know how it stayed hidden for this long. Oh, that's right. You were involved as well, were you not? Yes, I was. But he angered me. Therefore, I had to involve myself. I did not like it, but he deserved what was coming to him. And yet he got away, and he lived quite a long time after that. His curse must have kept him young. And even then, he took his youth and squandered it, eventually getting himself killed. Good riddance, I say. I have no doubt that he has gotten smarter, though. He is a warrior of the mind. A formidable opponent indeed. But he's still mortal. Even if he escapes Hades' grasp, I trust Artemis and her team will track him down and make roadkill of him. Yes, very few times do they fail. Well, that'll be all. Always a pleasure, Aphrodite. I'll be seeing you. I'm basically here. Good. If she decides to work with us, we may just have a chance against these gods. You got that right. I've infiltrated the yacht. Nice work.
What do you see? Well, it's nothing special. It's barely changed, actually. But it's odd. There's no guards whatsoever. It's almost deserted. But this is the one place she would be. Even if you do find her, do you really think she'll help us? She has to. It may be our only chance. Plus, her technical skills would be of great use to us. True. But one thing's for sure. His group is back and they haven't forgotten their roots. And yet it seems like we've done the opposite. Yeah. <coughs> Sloan. Sloan, are you okay? What was that? You shouldn't be here. <laughs> Right, Doctor, this is gonna be short and sweet. I don't know why you're here and I don't much care. You and your organization have brought nothing but trouble to me and my team. Marigold, I know you're angry, but- Oh, I'm beyond angry, and just when we thought you've gone. You show right back up to break into my ship. Sorry, Doctor, but I can't let that happen. Not without consequence. Marigold, please listen. John Jones and I, we both left the Imagined Order. We've been on our own ever since. We're looking to help this island. It's been hard, really hard, but... Oh, boohoo. Cry about its loan. You don't know what hard is. Hard is when you have to constantly flee from Imagined Order guards. Hard is when you have to go into hiding with nothing but your wits. Hard is when you must take the lead and stand up to the Divine, all to save somebody that you hold dear. Tell me, Doctor, have you experienced that? No, but I admire it, Marigold, as hard as it is to believe. I want to help you. That's why I'm here. We need your help to rid this island of these gods. They're dangerous and they no doubt will bring destruction and carnage here with them. I couldn't agree more. However, you are just as untrustworthy as they are. You're a snake, Sloan. Well, I think that that ends this little talk of ours. But I can't just leave you here to craft an escape. No, I have a much more efficient idea. Damien, can you send up the gift from the witch? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, dear gift. A witch. What are you gonna do to me? Remain calm. It is only temporary until I figure out what to do with you. But let's just say that the witch has a little spell. It's like a makeover. Marigold, please. Reconsider this. I already sent Jones my location. He'll be here soon. I don't want this to get messy. I just want a union. Jones, He's hardly a threat. With one touch, I can make him nothing more than another statue. I'd do that to you, but you know, I need something more gratifying than that. But as I was saying, as for Jones, let him come. We'll see who wins that fight. Now, remember, the next time you wake up, you won't be human. So don't be shocked. What do you mean? What are you doing? <laughs> 